Hi, I'm Anna Haugen, and I'm a marketing automation consultant with Cypress Learning. I have experience as an admin in both Pardot and HubSpot and have led several HubSpot to Pardot migrations. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of the differences in automation in each platform to help you talk to the value Pardot can bring to your potential customers. So let's get started. Uh, let's start with email flows. So in HubSpot workflows, they're a clunkier interface. To do any type of action, it requires a big square box um, that takes up quite a bit of screen space. This will require anyone creating a workflow to sc uh, scroll a lot just to get an overview of what exactly is happening in this workflow. While within Pardot Engagement Studio, it is a smoother interface. There's less size within all these actions. So you can see an entire overview of the stream on the screen so that you do know exactly what is happening within your flow. In HubSpot workflows, you're unable to merge branches. So flows can become very robust quickly and duplicate efforts. And there's no way to circle back to the original flow. While in Pardot Engagement Studios, you have branch merging capabilities, which eliminates duplicating flow processes and can simplify branching. This will save you a significant amount of time. And I'll show you what this looks like in the next slide um, to give a better understanding of what this means. In HubSpot workflows, you can't copy and paste branches. So as you're unable to come back to something within those merging capabilities, you also have the manual task of rebuilding every single logic step, which can become very time consuming. Um, while in Pardot Engagement Studio, we recently had the um, ability to copy and paste given to us last summer. Um, so this saves you a significant amount of development time as you're building out your logic, as you can copy any type of logic and put it into another branch. Um, in HubSpot workflows, it is required for add-in work. And this goes into your set number of workflows and can drive up costs as you're required more flows for campaigns and admin work. It also gets messy very quickly. So you have to have a very solid naming convention if you want to be able to find your um, flows later. While in Pardot Engagement Studio, it's not required for add-in work. You can do it, but it's not necessary. So you're allowed to uh, separate your admin versus campaign flows, and it really helps keep your org clean. So here are the differences of appearance within HubSpot and Pardot for email flows. On the left, like I said, they're big square boxes, which takes up a lot of screen space compared to a simple email send. As I was talking about with merging capabilities, as you're building out logic, these end points are automatically added. While in Pardot, you're able to circle back to something so that you can do different actions and come back to it. So you don't have to duplicate your efforts. And when I was talking about scrolling on screen space, this is the same zoom out on both different types of workflows. And this one is six brand, or six different logics. Well, this one's nine. So you do have a better capability of seeing what exactly will your customer journey be as they go through this workflow. So now let's talk about admin automation. So in HubSpot workflows, you have to build out workflows to execute on admin activities. So you have to do branching logic to execute on maybe a minor admin function, and that can become complex for just a simple type of action. While in Pardot, you have automation rules where you can build out simple rules for Pardot to listen to um, to execute on those admin activities, which it's easy to list those criteria and list that actions. And you have a great overview, which I'll go into a little bit more depth later. In HubSpot workflows, this is probably my least favorite part about HubSpot is you need to utilize webhooks in a workflow to send your leads to sales which this eliminates a sense of consistency and can discredit the quality of the lead because a webhook can be placed anywhere by anyone in a workflow. So it's not the same type of why they're getting a lead each time. Like if they download a white paper, they're automatically a webhook could be placed, right? While in Pardot, um, you are able to have a lead sent to Salesforce right out of the box and you can rely on simple um, defining criteria for sales to receive a lead. This really helps align you in our marketing and sales because there's a consistency in that qualified lead. Um, and each time a lead is sent, we know that they've reached a certain grade, a uh, certain score. Uh, so in HubSpot workflows, you need a web or a workflow to execute on additional automation from asset actions. 
So it can become very difficult to keep track of which automation is in what workflow. And so to do an audit on it later, if you want to change something, you might not know, okay, which workflow is this in? Again, you have to have that solid naming convention. While in Pardot, you have completion actions off of that asset. So this allows you to trigger some type of action on your marketing automation asset. So this is really nice for easy auditing and updates later. In HubSpot, you only have a set number of workflows. And this is can get kind of expensive quickly as you reach your limit of campaigns or admin flows, you have to then buy more workflows. While in Pardot, you have automation rules, you have completion actions, you have work or engagement studio. So a wide range of different ways to do automation. And it's easier for maintenance, it keeps your uh, org clean, and it's very rare to hit any limit because you do have that wide range of options to achieve all of your automations. So here are the differences between the admin types of automation. Like I said, it's a workflow. So it, you have to branch off on the different types of logic. Here are the different logics. Well, in Pardot, this is an automation rule. You just list out what you're listening for and then it executes it. So you have a clear understanding of what exactly is the automation. So thank you for listening to the overview between HubSpot and Pardot. I hope you learned some helpful tips to bring to your potential customers. Thanks.